I thought I would do another review video of uh, another one of my dolls. Um, this video is going to be about a uh, soon monthly doll, Shale and Adam Ailey. The reason why I'm lumping the two in is because really the only difference between them has to do with um, the clarity of the clear parts and their bodies. One's a boy and one's a girl. Their faces are the same, um, so I figured I would, could lump them all in together and that would work. So I've got, um, I have three Shale and Adam Ailey's, um, two Adam Ailey's and one Shale. Um, one of my Adam Ailey's here is, uh, little Cortana. Um, she's all done up, uh, all the customization by me. And then I also have little Ellipsis, um, who is a, a Shale, um, and he's all done up. But I do have one of these guys that's still blank. Um, she was meant for a character that now is going to be put into a different body, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with her. Um, I would like to trade her for a shale, um, but I haven't gotten any bites on that yet. Um, but anyway, on to the review. Um, so these are MSD sized dolls. Um, they were a limited monthly doll put out by Soom. Um, so they were only available for one month. They came in a box like this, um, and I'll show you the sort of packaging they come in, because um, they actually do come in nice packaging. Um, it's your regular slide off top kind of box. It isn't too difficult to get open. And they have the, the Soom label that's shiny on the front. Then they come in these squishy foam zipper bags. And in the zipper bag, they end up kind of being sort of like little mummies. Um, and the zipper for these is a little finicky sometimes. Uh, but they have these tube things that go on their, their arms. And then they have these little Velcro padded sections that the doll, um, you know, gets into and they're their legs don't end up being, you know, their legs are separated so they don't clank together or whatever and you zip it up and they're really, really well protected. So that's how they come packaged. Put this guy up. And Sum actually sells these, pet, these padded things separately if you like these. Uh, the foam inside them does kind of I've seen it yellow pretty terribly, but that was with the older, the first versions of these, so maybe they've changed materials, I don't know. Um, so, what they come with themselves is you get the blank doll. Um, if I remember correctly, they come with their human legs strung on, not the um, monthly doll legs, which is from the knee part down. Um, so you do have to string the fantasy bits on when you first get them. Um, they also come with two heads, um, a romantic head, which is this one. Uh, it has a horn that is about to fall out. Um, it has a clear horn and the eyes are somewhat, uh, closed. The ears are pointed. The human head, um, is basically the same face but with open eyes, uh, human ears, uh, no horn, obviously, um, but the same thing. The heads on the Shale and the Adam Ailey are pretty much the same. I can't tell a difference. Um, I, I personally think they're exactly the same, but there's been, you know, discussions about, you know, oh, well, the lips are slightly different or whatever. Um, I own multiple of them and uh, they look the same to me. <laughs> That's my opinion. The, um, the other difference that I noticed between Shale, the Shale and Adam Ailey's that I have, um, the bodies, the gender of the bodies are obviously different. Um, the girl has very petite young girl breasts that are really perky and way too high. I, I personally don't care for the girl teeny gym body, but that's just me. Um, 
The boy body, I do really like though. Um, the boy body has a nice musculature. It's a little bit, m it seems a little bit more beefy than the normal body of a midi feet. But it still seems kind of, kind of boyish. Um, so it's very uh, young adult, not yet a man, but not still a boy kind of thing. Whereas this is, I don't know, still kind of, seems younger than the boy body to me. Um, another thing to note, um, with the Shailen Adamales that I got, um, they all come with a set of clear parts, uh, a, their bottom hoof piece their horn and then wings that they come with. Um, I did notice that the boy set seemed to be um, like clouded, you know, like uh, uh, like clouded glass, like vases and stuff end up being sometimes. Um, the girl parts tended to be a lot clearer than the boy parts. Um, this could have just been a freak of nature type of thing, just how it happened to be. Um, I don't know if that was intentional, uh, but that's that's been my experience. Um, what else? Uh, as far as posing goes, I've gotten them to crouch before, um, but they don't do anything like uh, like Heliot um, or some of the other Digigrade dolls do. Technically, these guys aren't full Digigrade because they don't have another joint here, um, and I know she's not going to crouch, but when I did get her to crouch, it was something along these these lines right here. Um, but she's really like, her stringing is terrible. Um, I haven't done a whole lot with her, obviously, because this one and this one is done. Um, I will say I had to do a lot of modding to these guys out of the box that I personally don't think I should have had to have done. I'm lucky that I can do this type of modding. Um, most people don't feel comfortable doing it, especially when you spent $500 on a little doll. Um, you know, I don't know necessarily that you should have to do that. Um, one of the common problems with these guys was the the hole that the hook goes through for the neck. Um, either wasn't drilled big enough, um, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, I was lucky. Mine, my hook will fit through the holes of all the heads I have as long as I do it just right. But some people couldn't get it at all, like they had to drill and make, like mod the head to get the hook to go through okay. I mean, what a terrible experience that would be to get a brand new doll that you've been waiting for months for and you can't get the head on. <laughs> um, anyway, on to the rest of it. Um, another thing to note too that I thought was really strange, so they came with wings um, that I don't have here at the moment for some reason. I don't know why I didn't think to grab them. Um, they have wings that go on a couple places on the body. Um, they go on the human head, soon pre-drilled magnet holes in the human head, but not the fantasy head, for the wings to go like ears on top of their head. Um, to go on either side of the shoulders and then at the backs of the legs here. Um, on my my other dolls, I've made um, either little magnetic flock bits or um, just little uh, little caps to cover the holes. Um, but the other thing I thought odd was that Soom did not glue in any of the magnets except for the ones that are in the shoulders. So the head magnets, the back hoof magnets, the magnets that go in the wings themselves, they didn't glue any of it. Um, but the shoulder magnets that were glued in, in all of my dolls, they were all done where they were the same polarization, um, which I don't care for because the way I do the magnets on all of my dolls is they're all opposite polarized and they're all done all the same, so all of my magnet accessories are interchangeable. The reason why I do them opposite polarized is because, let's say I put uh, back magnets here for wings or whatever. If they're the same polarization, then chances are your wings will want to stick to one side or the other. You know, they have a chance to kind of jump. 
Whereas if they're opposite polarized, you have to don't have to worry about that so much. Um, so that was kind of that was disappointing. Um, I also had to do um, a fair amount of dremeling for their back holes to be able to get the magnets that they provided in. Um, I, and I had to do it on all three of my dolls. Uh, so that was rather disappointing. Uh, I also, um, I, I've tried getting the magnets out of the shoulders so I can mod them to be the way that matches the rest of my things, um, but I haven't been able to so far. Uh, it's pretty deep in there, um, so that's annoying. But um, yeah, I mean, they're also too like it seems like I haven't taken these guys outside really. But when I've had to work on them um, in my work area and I've had the window um, open, their resin is a little bit sparkly. It's kind of cool. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about it um, for the review. I think that, that covers a good bit of information and we're um, about out of time. So uh, I hope this review was helpful for you guys. Again, this was for Assume Monthly Doll Shale and Adam Ailey. <laughs>